much. Well, we got even more information about AMD's next generation Zen 6 processors, and it looks like we're finally getting a really good jump in terms of gaming and multi-core performance. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by FlexiSpot and the E7 Plus Standing Desk. The FlexiSpot E7 Plus is a high quality four leg standing desk, which unlike other two leg solutions, not only comes with two motors, but boasts improved stability from four points of contact. And with the ability to go all the way from 26 to 51.6 inches, according to FlexiSpot, the highest four leg standing desk you can buy right now, and holding up to 540 pounds, it's a great option for people of all sizes, looking to get the health benefits of standing while working. Not only that, but the desk is virtually silent while it raises and you can set and save profiles with the easy to use controller that comes with the desk so you can quickly change to your favorite heights. Plus the desk fits in great to all types of office environments with its high quality tabletop available in many different styles and sizes that's nice to use and sturdy enough to be accurate when using a mouse or writing. And the thing I love most is that FlexiSpot desks come in at a very budget friendly price when compared to other options, which can cost that thousands of dollars. That's why I always recommend them to family and friends. So if you want to try and stay in good health while working without being hunched over like Gollum all day, and you're looking for a great budget-friendly standing desk that's sturdy enough to lift a full-grown man popping it back on camera, then be sure to click my link in the description below to learn more about the FlexiSpot E7 Plus and many other great options, and use my code YTE7P50 for $50 off. So recently we talked about the Zen 6 X3D variants and those definitely look really impressive, but today I wanna to talk about basically the entire lineup as we just got a bunch of information that will allow us to pretty much put together a chart showing off well, everything you would need to know. So let's start off with that information first, and then we'll jump into the charts. This first bit actually comes from WCCF Tech, and according to their article, quote AMD to rely on TSMC's N2P process for most Zen 6 products, lower end laptop SKUs likely to use N3P. Now, TSMC, or the Taiwanese Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, is who AMD sources all of their processors from, essentially, and right now they're actually on, I believe, the N4P nodes. So if they shrink down to the N2P node, well, there would be some very substantial savings in terms of energy, the die size, as well as there could be some performance improvements as well, which would allow them to, as many rumors are suggesting, give you more cores in a similar size die. For example, for just around a 10% larger area, which means similar price, they could actually give you 12 cores instead of eight on a single CCD. And then if you have a monster CPU with two CCDs, much like we have with the 9950, today, well then that would mean you'd actually have up to 24 cores and 48 threads. A pretty big departure from the 16 cores and 32 threads that we have today. 50% more cores to be exact. And that would also likely lead to increases in the amount of cache as well, and the IPC and clock speeds should be going up thanks to this new TSMC process, allowing them to get it a lot more dense. And so that's why that's really, really important. However, there is a little bit of discussion as to whether or not AMD's gonna go straight to N2P or if it's gonna be too expensive or maybe they won't have it ready in time, and thus they might actually go to say something like an N3 node of some sort, which is gonna be somewhat of a halfway step. If that is the case, I still do think they will go for 12 cores, as many rumors are suggesting, but it could potentially have not quite as high of clock speeds. Speaking of clock speeds, we have another bit of information that comes from OC. 3D.net, where apparently a leaker claims that there's gonna be seven gigahertz Zen 6 clock speeds. Now, according, this is apparently according to Moore's Law is Dead, and I will tell you guys this, seven gigahertz, it is technically possible, but to me, the smacks of somebody guesstimating. The reason why I say that is because if you do some simple math looking at the current performance of N4P products, and then you multiply it by the amount of performance gain going to N3 and then N2P, you would get 6.96 gigahertz for the highest end model. It's not much of a stretch to say seven gigahertz, but what we're not taking into account is A, we don't know for sure if it's gonna be N2P yet, and B, there's gonna be higher IPC and more cores, and it's just simply getting harder and harder to drive clock speeds up as we're already kind of getting close to the maximum that we can achieve out of current process technology. With that being the case, I really don't think 
7 gigahertz is going to be possible. And that's why I say I think this is just guesstimating. In fact, I think you will see much lower than that, although it still will be a decent jump. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the charts and just break down everything in terms of specs as well as performance when it comes to AMD's next generation processors and talk about the pricing and release date as well. So first, starting off with the Ryzen 10 700X, this should also be an 8-core 16-thread processor as it should be cut down. And the same with the 10 800X, except for that's going to be a 10-core variant, but likewise cut down. These should both be running at roughly 5.9 gigahertz, should have around a 10% IPC uplift. And then the 10 700X should have 32 megabytes of cache and around 40 megabytes for the 10 800X. And by the way, all of these SKUs should be able to run 8,000 mega transfer DDR5 pretty much out of the box thanks to a redesign of the memory controller. So you should see vastly improved memory performance out of these new CPUs, which will help quite a bit in gaming. And we'll get to that in just a second. But the major star here, I think, is the 10850X. This should be the 12 core full CCD with 24 threads. Again, that's a 50% improvement over the current 9700X or previous gaming SKUs that many people were trying to get their hands on. Also, this should be running at a slightly higher clock speed as I do believe they will hit six gigahertz on this model. This one will also have 10% more IPC and 48 megabytes of cache, and of course, 8,000 mega transfer DDR5. Then moving on to the 10900X, here's where you get into the dual CCDs, and this one should actually have 20 cores and 40 threads running at 6.1 gigahertz and 80 megabytes of cache. And then finally, the big boy, the fully full dies, the 10950X is gonna be 24 cores, 48 threads, and 6.2 gigahertz as the maximum boost clock, at least on one CCD. Now, this should also have 96 megabytes of cache, and of course, 8,000 mega transfer DDR5, leading to an insanely powerful CPU, especially for multi-core, but also for gaming. And let's get into that. Taking a look here first at the 10700X, this should come in at a price of, it. you know, look, it's a little early and they can always go ahead and change things last minute, but I am expecting to see $379 for the price point on the 10700X. This would be a $20 increase from the 9700X, but a $20 decrease from the 7700X. So pretty good spot there. It should have around 18% higher gaming performance thanks to the faster DDR5, the higher IPC, higher clock speeds, and potentially improved fabric. And keep in mind, this is not even the X3D model. That thing is gonna be in insane, but it should also have around 18% higher multi-core performance as well. But the 10800X, well, here's where it gets interesting. It should be around $429 and bring, again, 18% more gaming performance. However, it should give you actually around 47% multi-core performance versus the 9700X, and that's actually really impressive. And by the way, both these will be launching roughly, they should be around quarter three of 2026, could be a little later, could be a little sooner, we'll have to wait and see. So we're about one year out from these processors being released. And if you are thinking about upgrading to Zen 5, I don't know, it might be a good idea to actually wait because these are looking insane. Although, of course, it's gonna depend on your situation. Now, next up, we have the 10850X, the 12 core, 24 thread model, should be around $479. So yes, this will be an increase in price technically, but you're getting way more cores. So I do think it will be fair if they go ahead and hit a price point somewhere around there. Now, this should also bring you around 20% more gaming per performance and around 80% more multi-core performance than the 9700X. And that would be one heck of an improvement if you're sitting on a 9700X. And imagine if you're sitting on a 7700X or maybe even a 5700X or 3700X. That would be an insane improvement in multi-core performance, probably getting into the 2X or 3X range in some scenarios. Now, this should also launch core three of 2026, but now let's move on to the dual CCD versions, 10 900X, the 20 core, $579, 20% more gaming performance. And here's the kicker, 2X, the multi-core performance of the 9900X. So yes, it will probably come in at roughly a $80 premium and maybe a little bit more than that even, but you are gonna be getting double the multi-core performance, at least in theory. Now in practice, will it be double? We'll have to see, probably not quite but it should regardless be a very large improvement, assuming the rumors of the 12 core CCDs do hold true. And I think they will, 
but again, we'll have to wait and see as more leaks and rumors find their way down the channel. And then of course, this one will be quarter three, 2026 as well. And then finally, the 10950X. I do believe they'll target 699 or a $50 increase from the 9950X. Although again, it could be even more than that. And it should be hitting around 20% more gaming performance and around 79% more multi-core performance thanks to that massive 50% increase in the amount of cores on the CPU. So there's everything we know about Zen 6 so far. I will actually go ahead and cover the potential for a double stack 3d cache variant in the future here but for now this is looking really good and i think this will launch first so if you are looking to upgrade your cpu heck even these non x3d variants i think will be very very good especially with improved infinity fabric and much better memory controllers but hey that's just why i think do you think that the 10950x is really going to give you 24 cores and do you think it'll boost past six gigahertz or maybe even seven gigahertz? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.